hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is malifa Lamini. if you're new here and if you're coming back welcome and welcome darling and if you're new here there is absolutely nothing that make me more happier than you subscribing to my channel so please subscribe <laughs> so today is a sunday and i am shooting a sit down video telling you guys about the good news that has happened in my life and i am going to be doing so well i am showing you guys how i achieved this look um it's not the greatest but it's what we can actually work on so i hope that you guys will actually enjoy this video and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe Yo, yeah it's been a while actually i forgot how to do this but hopefully i get it right um I've been on a break and I'm coming back and I come back bearing great news. However, we're going to be talking about this great news while I am actually busy doing my makeup. So before we start, let me actually do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll come back to you guys. The eyebrows are not great, but I also don't think it's nothing that I cannot work without. So, I think I'll be fine. By the way, I just got these cute mom nails from, from that guy that charges 5 million for, for nails. <laughs> If you guys remember the nails that I complained about in my other vlog, these are the nails. This, this is the guy. So I went back for what reason? I have no idea. Now, as you guys um, have already seen from the title, this is not a makeup um, tutorial. So I'm just doing my my own makeup, putting a bit of sunscreen because I can um connecting that thing primer yeah anyway um as you've already seen from the title of this video your girl is an employed hun now so grateful to god for the opportunity i am finally employed after um, three months of being home but honestly guys i really don't want to deceive you and say um being home is horrible um like you know if you watched my previous video from when i was talking about being an unemployed lawyer and how how was my experience as an unemployed lawyer i mentioned on the video that um i didn't like it was if there were days where it was getting to me but honestly more than more than anything i cannot really say that i felt it that much because i honestly didn't right i spent three months home the first month i think the best thing i did was take that moment as a moment of rest because when i found out i was going to be unemployed i was like okay where to from here but i was like oh, you know what instead of even looking for a job let me just rest you know and to be honest the first month i wasn't even looking for a job and the first month passed by so quickly i was on i my last work day was um, may right end of may and then june june passed so fast i swear i didn't even feel it because i was constantly sleeping you know i had i was constantly like in bed sorry my mirror my mirror is here guys i was constantly in bed and you know but i wasn't complaining like my mom didn't even have a problem with me sleeping the whole time because just just like uh, i think i was tired it was like two full years of working um without like working non-stop like i don't I, i'd never really taken like long leaves you know except it except when it was in december so i think it was the first month of just resting 
it passed so fast before i knew it it was end of june and then i went to Joburg to my sister for july I spent a couple of weeks there i think about three weeks also Joburg Joburg was a break for real because when i got there like we started going out we did interesting stuff with my sister so i don't know what happened here like i i know there was a pimple here and then from here i don't know if it left a scar or and i do not appreciate having scars at all because i'm one of those clear skin hands but anyway so sharp i went to Joburg. so when i got to Joburg, it was really great had a very amazing time with family and i was vlogging i was doing the most consistent time in vlogging and i was barely thinking about work but i was applying right i was applying on indeed i was applying on like these z83 jobs government jobs i was applying like people would send me posts and stuff and i would apply you know because remember now this is my second month july yes so i basically stayed home for two months not three sharp sana i did what i did um yeah honestly it it only got to me like when maybe i was thinking maybe it's month end and i'm just like i want to get one two three and i'm just like Ugh, like there's no way i'm actually expecting money to get this particular thing and then yeah i'd like feel like Ugh, i need a job you know i think more than anything i was really relaxed you know um I was pretty much relaxed so sorry so i got this post that was sent by a very close friend sister of mine you know and then she's like drop your cv here yeah. and then i did and i they, they wanted a motivational letter honey, for that post but i don't send a motivational letter because i didn't see the part where they spoke about a motivational letter so when i noticed when i went to the website and i noticed they actually wanted a motivational letter and i didn't submit it i was like ah so already my chances of even getting that particular job are very slim cool and then i left it and i think of two weeks a week or two down the line because it was still in Joburg, i get a, i get a call from like those people actually an email and then and i had missed an email like three days i wasn't checking my emails for like that particular time i don't know what i don't know what was going on usually i check my emails every day but that that particular time i missed my emails for a good this is nonsense <laughs> but anyway we'll see what we do with it um yeah so at that time i didn't check my emails for like three days so i missed an email for three days so they were like hi um please let us know we received your email um i mean your application would like to give you a call when you're free and i was like i am free immediately i remember it was like around four and it was like just after work so i tried to call the people and when i after i sent an email immediately after i sent an email so when i was trying to make a call with the other phone they actually called on the phone and they're like hi um yeah uh, we've reviewed your cv and we'd like to invite you for an interview and i was like okay great i'm available and they were like interview is like i think it was it was monday though like the interview is wednesday and i said okay am i gonna get enough time to even you know familiarize myself with um the interview stuff and 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 and, and then um they said to me that you know actually they're like no um the interview will be on wednesday um this is what you need to look at they gave me an act you know they gave me their the um company website for me to go through it and i was like okay good shot at least i have something to work on you know so cool um that from that day in jay i wasn't sleeping i was making sure that i am studying on that company i know what is actually going on there was a whole study session bro like even tuesday wednesday my interview was at 11. the interview the interview was horrible and they had just gotten out of an interview with um someone else because i remember joining and they were already on the, the the link that they gave me so there, were, there was already someone on the link um on that online platform on that team's meeting 
actually so there was already like people and then yeah that person had just logged out so i didn't really see who the person who was interviewed with and they're like oh you were too early because i was like 15 minutes early i was like oh you were too early in, in, in. but if you're ready to start we can start now and i said okay cool i think i'm ready <sighs> yeah i just really want because i was so nervous and anxious i was like at this point i'm really ready to just get it over and done with obviously yeah had my little prayer the interview was it was coming right now nah? and then there was this guy this particular guy made sure that he's dribbling me or maybe not but like that guy felt like he was punishing me for knowing most of the things you know so you know when somebody gives you something that is like totally out but it makes sense you know he gave me a question and i was like what i fought for my life i remember looking at that question and i was just like what but i was fighting i was like i'm not giving up on this i fought for my life sana i fought for my life no jokes and then i answered it so they were like okay thank you uh, i will get back to you by monday the latest or oh, by friday they said friday so that's like a day or two afterwards yo we'll get back to you friday if you have made it if you haven't um sorry but yeah you'll get to hear from us shut the interview ended friday Hey, Sana, so let's check the email from 3 a.m. Guess I'll probably Friday, Friday night, because I waited for it the whole Friday morning. And the email was just not, I'm forgetting an important step. So Friday was just not working. And nothing came. Saturday, yeah, it's a... Sunday... Sunday I gave up. I was like, you know what? Ne? Um I guess like this is it. But I really wanted to get at least we regret to inform you. Like, you know, sometimes you just like you wanna get clarity. Monday I'm just out there doing my stuff. Even on Monday I woke up very early. I was cause I was so sad, you know, because I think like I did mostly well on the interview. Not entirely well, just mostly. So on 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 monday i woke up very early and i was like you know what let me go um let me go apply send more application forms and then do my learners because i remember the biggest part of the requirements that i did not meet was the license so they said license is compulsory like compulsory they're not even going to hear you if you don't have a license so even on the interview they asked me what am i going to do with the issue and yeah interview yeah license and i was like no i'm gonna try Ish, let me answer this call yeah sorry about that i was answering a call so i didn't have that requirement so when they said what are you going to do with the license issue i was like i will make sure that i have it before the end of the month <laughs> but obviously that was like i was selling myself but the truth is it's not even practical considering that i don't even know how to drive a manual car by the way so i was busy getting the application form appointment they are learners went and i did uh, my learner's appointment and then i got a day for like three days i think later i was like okay cool let me just focus on this learner's thingy went there um finished up applying for learners went to the interview i mean went to the internet cafe sent more application forms like i think i had already made peace so while i'm at the bank because i remember withdrawing um some money and i'm just at the bank so the queue was really slow so even more, i'm just like let me just check my emails getting my emails sign up congratulations or oh, we are pleased to inform you whatever the statement was i was like what i saw tears drop i wept jesus wept i wept 
before I even get emotional, let me just get out of here. They sent me a contract and they like send it to me. I went to the internet cafe again because I was already done at the internet cafe at the time. I went to the internet cafe right there and then and I sent that uh, uh, contract. I signed it and I sent it immediately. To be honest, I didn't even read the contract, but obviously it had the salary like what 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 i didn't even read it like in extent i only read it like when i got home because i was just like so excited in case they changed their mind as if that's possible and i was just like yo i don't want them to change their mind so let me send it quickly 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 got it and they were so happy to receive my email the very same day you know they said okay well um uh, they sent me an email to say um let us know when we can further call you um so we can discuss um the arrangements your job jalo 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 i was like okay cool i sent i asked them to call me um the following day because i also wanted to to i wanted to to digest you know is it digesting yeah i got home and obviously told my mom so my brother and then yeah that was it i was so overwhelmed i got there in my room and i was like jesus thank you so yeah i got the job and they were like um um already they were like next week we sending you da 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 and the following week come to job work so here's the trick my job um my work my office is actually in joburg right my work office is in joburg but i am working for like the northern cape the entire northern cape so sometimes i am in guruman sometimes i am in like i'm in guruman today i'm in bosmansburg sometimes i am in kimberley i'm going to kimberley next week it makes me travel a lot and you know what i remember one time um i was working at if you if you have been like a day one there's this other vlog um i was at a very nice um hotel something like that in brits that day i remember writing a status and saying that um honestly if god could just give me an opportunity to be working in hotel rooms at my own time then i would know that i'm god's favorite child son can i tell you like obviously my work makes me travel a lot and by that it actually means that um, i'm gonna get be, i'm gonna be booked now every now and then so sana you remember the time i was in the previous vlog before this one very beautiful guest house i was at work you know when i shot that video i was at work it's just that at the time it was still too early and you know trying to digest it but i just want to say that god is an attentive god god is a very attentive god and I might have said that in passing but he knows very well that i actually meant it so the nicest part nicest part about my job is i actually work from home 90 or let me say rather say 70 to 80 percent i work from home so whenever i am not at home that's when they have sent me somewhere so i have to travel and by the way if you want to know what i do this is the part we have arrived at the part um ish, i don't have lashes again so yeah basically i am um, i obviously would not mention it in detail i'm not going to give out like my job for obviously safety reasons i'm literally still getting a stipend so <laughs> you can't you can't bewitch me because I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just really playing. But anyway, um, so I work as a paralegal. Let me finish eating this. 
I work as a paralegal for a private company in Joburg. I don't know if it's a private company or what. It's a private, public. Yeah, but obviously as time goes by, I will explain in details what I actually do. But all I want to say is lawyer diaries are coming back. Lawyer diaries are coming back, Sana. And I'm going to take you guys through a day in my life. You know, because I still work as a lawyer. Remember paralegals? Well, paralegals, some of them are lawyers, name, who do not appear in court, but do actual lawyer work, you know. And then some of them are like those who have like undergrads of law. So it's one of the things that I will discuss on another, on another video. I obviously will not be able to discuss all of this on this particular video. So I am going to tell you guys about it um when i'm i'm gonna tell you guys about it when, on the next video i want to explain what i actually do 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 but i just wanted to say god is still good don't give up on him your time is definitely coming and if i am able to get a job without being an admitted attorney of the high court there is nothing too hard for the lord So this is how the makeup has turned out. I'm just waiting for it to set. Mm. I'm just waiting for it to set. It doesn't look bad, honestly. Mm. I don't know what I forgot. I'm gonna try and edit this video and post it today. Today's Sunday is a for lovers and i think i might just be going out on a date i think <laughs> i'll see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching until the end if you have i really do appreciate it um thank you thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe